Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I want to welcome you to a fight for the ages. In one corner, you have Dr. Anthony Fauci, the virus ventilator. In the other corner, his opponent, also a doctor, Senator Rand Paul. Once again, these two engage in an epic struggle. Gentlemen, don't shake hands because it's contagious. Take off your mask and let's get ready to rumble! Senator Paul. Dr. Fauci, the idea that a government official like yourself would claim unilaterally, unilaterally to represent science that any criticism of you would be considered a criticism of science itself is quite dangerous. Central planning, whether it be of the economy or of science, is risky because of the fallibility of the planner. It would not be so catastrophic if the planner were simply one physician in Peoria, then the mistakes would only affect that physician's patients, the people who chose that physician. But when the planner is a government official, like yourself, who rules by mandate, the errors are compounded and become much more harmful. A planner who believes he is the science leads to an arrogance that justifies, in his mind, using government resources to smear and to destroy the reputations of other scientists who disagree with him. In an email exchange with Dr. Collins, you conspire, and I quote here directly from the email, to create a quick and devastating published takedown of three prominent epidemiologists from Harvard, Oxford and Stanford. Apparently there's a lot of fringe epidemiologists at Harvard, Oxford, and Stanford. And you quote in the email that they were from Dr. Collins and you, you agree that they are fringe. And immediately there's this takedown effort. A published takedown though, you know, doesn't exactly conjure up the image of a dispassionate scientist. Instead of engaging them on the merits, you and Dr. Collins sought to smear them as fringe and take them down and not in journals, in lay press. This is not only antithetical to the scientific method, it's the epitome of cheap politics, and it's reprehensible, Dr. Fauci. Do you really think it's appropriate to use your $420,000 salary to attack scientists that disagree with you? The, the email you're referring to was an email of Dr. Collins to me, if you look at the email that you responded to and hurried up and said, I can do it, I can do it, we got something in Wired no, magazine. No, 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 I think in you usual did. fashion, Senator, you are distorting everything about me. Did you First ever object all, to Dr. Collins' characterization of them as fringe? Did you write back to Dr. Collins and say, no, they're not fringe, they're esteemed scientists, and it would be beneath I, me I did to not do that. You responded to him that you would do it, and you immediately got an article you, in Wired, you, and you sent it back to him and said, hey, look, I've got him. I nailed him in Wired of all scientific publications. That's not publications. what went on. You there you go again. That you was just do the same thing every hearing. That was your response. And so, this, wasn't, so, this wasn't the only time. So your desire to take you're down people. You're absolutely incorrect. As usual, Senator, you no. are incorrect almost everything you well, said. Well, no, you deny. You deny. Right. But the emails tell the truth of this. No. This wasn't the only time. Your desire to take down those who disagree with you didn't stop with Harvard, Oxford, and Stanford. You conspired with Peter Daszak, who you communicated with privately, and other members of the scientific community that wrote opinion pieces for Nature, Five of them signed a, a paper for Nature, an opinion piece. Seventeen signed a paper that called it conspiracy theory, the idea that the virus could have originated right. in the lab. Do you think words like conspiracy theory should be in a scientific paper? Senator, I never used that word when I was referring to it. You're distorting virtually everything. Did you communicate with the five scientists who wrote the opinion piece in Nature? Were they were describing, oh, this, there's no way this could that have come from, was from the lab. That was not me. What did I did... Did you talk with any of those see, scientists but privately? You keep, the, you keep the story you? the truth. It is, it is you stunning talk, how you, you do Did you talk that? to any of the scientists privately yes. who wrote the opinion? You did. Well, what were they telling you privately? Well, well, let me explain. You know you're going back to that original discussion when I brought together a group of people to look at every possibility with an open mind. So you, not only are you distorting it, you were completely turning it around, as you usually do. most of the scientists do. that came to you privately, did they come to you privately and say, no way, this came from the lab? 
or was their initial impression, Dr. Gary and Dr. others that were involved, was their initial impression actually that it looked very suspicious for a virus you know, that came from a lab? Senator, we are here at a committee to look at a, a virus now that has killed almost 900,000 people. And the purpose of the committee was to try and get things out, how we can help to get the American public. And you keep coming back to personal attacks on me that have absolutely no relevance to reality. Do you think anybody has had more influence let, over let our me response finish. to this than you have? Do you Madam think it's a great Chair, success? I, Do you think it's a great success what's happened right. so far? Do you think you, the lockdowns are good for our kids? Do you think we slowed down the death rate? More people have died now under President Biden than did under President Trump. You are the one responsible. You are the architect. You are the lead architect for the response from the right. government. And now 800,000 people have died. Right. So you think it's a, a winning success what you've advocated for government? Um, Senator, first of all, <clears throat> if you look at everything that I said, you accuse me of in a monolithic way telling people what they need to do. Everything that I've said has been in support of the CDC guidelines. Wear a mask, get boosted. And you've advocated to make it coercive take, and take done a look at force, everything and you've advocated that I said. it be done by mandate. Right. You, you've advocated that your infallible opinion be dictated by law. Right. So again, Madam Chair, I would like just a couple of minutes because right. this, th this happens all the time. You personally attack me and with absolutely not a shred of evidence of anything you say. So I would like to make something clear to the committee. He's doing this for political reasons. What you need to do is, he said in front of this committee. You think your takedown that, that of three was, prominent was epidemiologists was not political? You, you don't want me that to finish, because you know what I'm going to say. Senator, that was the question. Senator, Were you political in taking this, down right, these three point, prominent epidemiologists? Senator Paul, if you would please, um, I'm going to allow this, uh, the, Dr. Fauci to respond. We have a number of senators yeah. who would like to ask questions, and I would like him to be able to respond. Please do so. So th the last time we had a committee of the time before, he was accusing me of being responsible for the death of five, four to five million people, which is really irresponsible. And I say, why is he doing that? There are two reasons why that's really bad. The first is it distracts from what we're all trying to do here today, is get our arms around the epidemic and the pandemic that we're dealing with, not something imaginary. Number two, what happens when he gets out and accuses me of things that are completely untrue, is that all of a sudden that kindles the crazies out there, and I have life that threats upon my life, harassment of my family and my children with obscene phone calls because people are lying about me. Now, you know, I guess you could say, well, that's the way it goes, I can take the hit. Well, it, it, it makes a difference. Because as some of you may know, just about three or four weeks ago on December 21st, a person was arrested who was on their way from Sacramento to Washington, D.C. at a speed stop in Iowa. And they asked, the police asked him where he was going, and he was going to Washington, D.C. to kill Dr. Fauci. And they found in his car an AR-15 and multiple magazines of ammunition because he thinks that maybe I'm killing people. So I ask myself, wh why would Senator want to do this? So go to Rand Paul website, and you see fire Dr. Fauci with a little box that says, contribute here. You can do $5, $10, $20, $100. So you are making a catastrophic epidemic for your political gain. So the you only have thing politically that, the only attacked thing that your can, colleagues uh, and in a politically reprehensible the way only thing attacked that I their reputation. Okay, you won't we, defend it. No, you won't well, argue it. I'm You'll just simply turn we're going around to the continue attack. Continue this hearing. We yeah. have a number of questions right. from just another senator. One, one more minute, please. Well, if Dr. My, Fauci, I, I really appreciate your response, but we do have a number of, of questions from senators, and we do have a second round, and I'm being asked to make sure that we, right. everybody has their time. So thank you. Thank you very much for allowing me, Madam Chair. Okay. Uh, we will move to Senator Murphy. Thank you, Madam Chair. Dr. Fauci. Ladies and gentlemen, so as you can see, who's chairing that is Senator Patty Murray from Washington State. Um, 
Hey, another epic battle. We're coming to you with some breaking news between Rand Paul and one second. The Republican Hold on. Oversight Committee released uh, e emails obtained through Freedom of Information. I was queuing that up because I'm going to do that next. But um, as you can see, Rand Paul and Dr. Fauci again going at it. And Dr. Fauci has to realize when you make yourself the center of this and you make yourself a celebrity of this, <clears throat> this comes with the territory. I mean, he's a million times bigger than the Dan Dawson show, and even I get attacked. <laughs> it's usually by friends, or who I thought were friends. But that's what happens with that, that comes with the territory when you make yourself that person, and you make yourself the person in charge. You're, you're going to get that. So he needs to recognize that. Rand Paul did have some good points, though. You are attacking, knowingly attacking, and it's written in email, it's in evidence, it's right there, your colleagues who disagree with you just because they disagree with you. I mean, um, you guys all know I had a YouTube video taken down the other day and I said nothing wrong. I spoke the truth. But apparently when you speak the truth, as those three colleagues of Dr. Fauci did, like Rand Paul uh, pointed out, you're gonna get hammered. You're gonna get hammered by the, uh, the establishment and they're going to bring all their power to bear. Now, when Rand Paul attempts to bring his power to bear, Fauci gets mad. Why are you mad, bruh? He's doing what you're doing. He's asking you pointed questions, very good questions. Asking why did you do that and why would you attempt to take down your colleagues who disagree with you? And I guess in the scientific community, see, here's the inside joke, right? A lot of people aren't getting... Um, the doctor Joe Rogan had on his show, I forget his name right now. In the scientific community, they make fun of Fauci. They don't even take him seriously. They don't take him seriously. And so this is the person who is running our response and has been. He ran it under Trump, he ran it under Obama, Bush, um, Clinton, uh, Bush Sr., Reagan. This guy's been in there so long and his colleagues Think he's crap but see that's cronyism he's been in there he's gonna keep doing it it is what it is but I think Rand Paul was right in this debate asking why did you do that and Fauci never admitted he did it never wanted to own up to it it's gotten ridiculous but now you see that's why I keep, I keep saying we're winning because now one good thing Trump did was he pulled back the curtains so now you can see the corruption Remember, Fauci's response to the AIDS or, uh, epidemic was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. It made no sense. It had no basis in science. And when your leftist friends say, follow the science, ask them, always ask them, what's the science say? What does the science say? And that's the question we got to keep asking ourselves. <clears throat> but I enjoyed this. Hey, I like watching uh, Fauci and Paul fight. They should take it on the road and charge tickets for admission. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this episode of The Dan Dawson Show. And as always, especially in these days and times, keep your powder dry and do what you got to do.